Hello, in this video we're going to solve integrals using the beta function. And a trick that statisticians often use is they'll take an, an integral and then they try to manipulate it into a form of a distribution and then we know what that integrates to. And in this video we're going to trick integrals to look like the beta distribution and then solve it that way. So as a reminder the beta distribution is this piece right here. And that's the gamma function, gamma of alpha, gamma of beta, gamma of alpha plus beta. And it, is, it lives in the integral 0 to 1. So if we integrate this distribution, it integrates to 1. Now notice that these are constants in terms of, in the x world. So if we multiply those to the other side and then divide that, we get the following. And this piece right here is called the beta function. So this is the beta distribution. And of course it has the 1 over the beta function as a constant. And this is the beta function. Okay. So now let's look at this integral. The integral of from 0 to pi over 2 square root of tangent of theta. Now when you first see this, you think how in the world can we make it look like one of these? Well, remember tangent is sine over cosine. Right, so this becomes this. Now, we're going to use the following substitution. Theta is equal to the arc sine of the uh, t to the one half, which implies, you know, that t is equal to sine theta squared. And then when we differentiate, we get this. Now, I'm going to take three steps to manipulate this into, I think, a more uh, a form that's easier to see the substitution. Not necessary, but, you know, this is just a, for learning purposes. So, here, we take out a sine, and we take out a cosine. That's where the minus ones come. Then we multiply and divide by 2. Then, here, we square cosine, but then we take the square root. And otherwise, everything is the same. And then cosine squared is 1 minus sine squared. Otherwise, everything's the same. Now we substitute in. Here's the, the differential for t. So we, we can substitute dt there um, for, uh, for sine. We can substitute in t, you know, t to the 1 half. That's what we get here. Otherwise, everything is the same. Right? Don't forget the squared there. Now, we simplify. It's this. And I put it something minus 1 because it's easier to see that it kind of looks like a beta distribution. And here, you know, the, we just get t. Uh, and then 1 fourth minus 1. And, you know, 1 half out front. And this looks like the beta function. Right? That's exactly this form. So it's this. So it's one half beta three fourths and one fourth. And then expanding that, we get this. Now this is uh, one fourth plus three fourths is one. Gamma of one is one. Now the one half, of course, comes over, but the top part. Since these add to 1, there's a nice little formula that we derive in properties of the gamma function, part 2. And we show that that is pi times the square root of 2. Which then, this is the answer. Now, second integral of 4 is this. And to me, this is already sort of a little bit like the beta, because, you, you know. So if we let u equal 1 half x, and then uh, 2 du is equal to dx, and substitute in, then a 2 can be factored out. 2 times 2 is 4, square root, bring it, um, and bring it out, and then times this 2, that's where we get the 4. So this is u to the one half. That would be minus one or one minus u to the half. 
and then if we want to write it something minus one to make it look easier like a beta distribution then we get this then plugging in the formulas we get this and so this is uh, um, gamma of three which is this um, this here you know since the property is one minus and then gamma that's what this is so it's one half gamma one half and uh, this here is um, two factorial and that's what we get here the four cancels with this and this is square root of pi square root of pi so we get pi and there's the answer now the next one does not look like it could be solved with the beta distribution but it can so let's let x equal t to the one half which then differentiating we get this we substitute in so the the square root symbol we just take it to the one half and then we substitute in x as t to the one half but then it's squared so it leaves just t and then the differential we get this the two and the one half cancel and then this we can write as t to the one half minus one and then this is this which is exactly a beta dis beta function yep which is this um, plug in the gamma the values to the gamma functions and we get pi over two <clears throat> now the last integral is this so we're going to let u equal 1 over 16 x squared and then that's equal to 8 du x dx and back solving for x from here we get x is equal to 4 u uh, to the 1 half we plug in what we have here so I, I take out an x and move it here and that's for this right here so we can just substitute in 8 du and then we plug in what we have for each of these we uh, 16 can come out you know squared which is 4 and this comes out as a 2 and we have the 8 so that's where we get 64 and then the rest just you know we'll just copy down well then this is a beta distribution so it's 64 beta of five fourths three three halves right and so whatever that is so we plug it into r or some other software to calculate that well that's all i have for this video hopefully you enjoyed that i sure did please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one thanks bye